The TGU Health Project is important for us to do because we've realized that there hasn't been this type of research before. There have been studies about trans healthcare and trans um, access to health across Europe. For the study, we're looking at five particular countries in Europe that we think have um, a very large range in their experience with trans healthcare and the experience of people who are users of trans healthcare, but also from the medical professional side in these countries. And we really want for people to feel comfortable when they go to the doctors, and we want for healthcare professionals to treat trans people with respect. We need to have better access to healthcare um, and to surgeries because um, they are very bad in Switzerland. Um, people have better to go um, abroad. We need to build a visible and proud trans community in Switzerland. Well, the TBT project is mapping the human rights situation of trans and gender diverse people on a global scale and at the same time producing advocacy skills for trans activists to improve the situation. And what's unique about it is the non-colonial approach. Even before we started the project, we consulted the later partner organizations in the Global South if we should do it and how we should do it. We were counseled by an advisory board which is which consists of uh, experts from all parts of the world. We do train local activists to become researchers, to implement the research themselves in their local context. We have now entered into a project with um, TGU on trans uh, respect versus transphobia worldwide, whereby we're going to document uh, trans violations and murders in the region. Um, uh, together with my colleague from the south. So why that's important is because as Africa, as a region, we are not on the same levels. Documentation of violations is, is, is a great area. So I am um, happy that uh, TGO is uh, supporting this process and um, has uh, trained us already. So uh, in building our capacity, we are going to be very confident right now that um, we will be part of the broader movement and the global movement and the global cause. L'Italia è il secondo paese del mondo dove succedono tantissime um, eh, eh, omicidi di persone transessuali, eh, soprattutto delle persone M2F perché sono quella più a rischio. So the project was started three years ago. It was informed mainly by the findings of the TVT project. The whole project approach is informed by the local needs of different communities. These organizations work in increasingly hostile environments. In a lot of countries, there is a more direct transphobia, homophobia against individuals, activists, and also their groups and, and organizations. When we take a look back at the past couple of years, we see propaganda laws, anti-propaganda, anti-LGBT laws implemented, the foreign agent law in Russia, for instance, and gender generally the anti-gender movement you know, flourishing in these countries. So these are extremely difficult circumstances to work in. And one way to go around this with project is to enhance solidarity between these different groups. And that's when TGU is playing a role in convening these actors and, and activists from the, from the ground. The main achievement of TGU is to have helped shape the shift from an entirely medicalized discourse to a human rights discourse. So trans people today are very firmly embedded into the European value framework, into how human rights are discussed and shaped in Europe. We do need better laws, that we need the legal protection in place, where we have a lot of legal gaps in the very first place. But even if laws are in place, we actually need them to be practical so that there is real practical improvements for the lives of trans people. And that we can only achieve if we are actually able to accommodate for the differences in the trans community so that we do not leave anyone behind. So everybody who is a sex worker, who is a young person, who is an elderly person, who is a person with a non-binary identity, who is a refugee, who is a migrant, Everybody like needs to be like on the table to be empowered and to speak for themselves and to, to have their rights recognized. That is like from the community side, but we also realize that we need much more accountability from European institutions, but also from national governments to really implement the changes that we need to see to make life much better for trans people in Europe.